All right, let's get started. On behalf of the Federated Learning team at Google, I would like to welcome you to this workshop on Federated Learning and Analytics. My name is Marco Gutesse, and I'll be guiding you through this workshop together with my co-host, uh, Peter Kairos. We had originally planned to meet with you in person at uh, Google Seattle, where we also met some of you last year. Even though this workshop is now fully virtual, I'd like to begin by grounding it in this real place and acknowledging that this place is located on the traditional land of the first people of Seattle, the Duwamish people. I hope that we can take the spirit of, of making space for all voices into this workshop and into our discussions over the next days. I'd also like to acknowledge that we are living through a challenging and special time in history. Um, I know many, we all need to take care of ourselves, our loved ones, and each other. So please do feel free to take any breaks that you need um, during this workshop. All right, with that, uh, we've come together today uh, to foster an open exchange on, on federated learning and analytics um, with academia and uh, and that have joined us today. Um, we'd like to discuss open problems and practical challenges uh, that we're facing in this field and perhaps on the way you establish some collaborations and, and partnerships uh, with each other and, and, and folks we meet. Um, and also we'd like to promote awareness of uh, some of the open source tools that we are um, making available that might be uh, useful for your research, including TensorFlow and TensorFlow Federate. We've structured this, uh, this day into, or this workshop into two shorter days uh, to be respectful of the different time zones that we find ourselves in. Um, the, the first day will feature a keynote from Vitaly Shmatikov. The second day will feature a keynote from Virginia Smith. And we have plenty of uh, Google and uh, faculty-led talks lined up. Um, our spirit was to try to foster as much discussion as we can in, in this virtual format. Um, so we've asked uh, speakers to uh, pre-record their talks. And then for these Google and faculty-led talks, provide a, a short lightning synopsis of about three minutes in these slots and uh, provide uh, plenty of time for Q&A and discussion. Um, we've also set up some breakout sessions on, on each day so that we can actually engage on some of these topics a little bit deeper and get to know each other. And I'd like to mention that uh, we've uh, found that this virtual format has given us an opportunity to provide a tutorial live stream to a much larger audience than we have, could have done in an in, uh, in-person meeting. So on day three, there's an associated uh, TensorFlow Federated tutorial uh, that you're welcome to join. Um, registration is still open uh, for the rest of the, the day. And if you you or any of your students or any anyone else you know might be interested, please uh, pass that message on. All right, with that, I'll be handing over to Peter. Thanks, Marco. Hi, everyone. I'm Peter. Um, so for today, we're going to have two awesome lightning talk tracks. Uh, the first track is going to happen in this room. So if you plan to present or attend the first, in, uh, first track on optimization and systems, please stay on this call. And if you plan to attend the privacy and security track, please change to the next call. You can find the information on our web page. Next slide, please. Um, we also have additional talks that unfortunately we couldn't feature uh, in a speaking slot. Uh, but we strongly encourage you to check them out. They are on our website. So we thank everybody who was able to record a talk and send it to us. And we would like to acknowledge all these speakers. Next slide, please. So also today, we have eight breakout sessions towards the end of the day. We anticipate that these sessions are going to be very informative, where we talk about new topics, emerging questions. Um, and as you can see, uh, we're trying to uh, diversify the topics as much as possible. Uh, one thing we have noticed is that uh, there's a great interest in privacy. And that's why uh, I would like to assure everybody that 
each and every single breakout session is going to have privacy in it. So it's just privacy for different things, optimization versus uh, security and robustness and other things. Uh, so please check our website. Uh, we have description for each one of these eight sessions on our website. And you can find a link to a doc that has notes. Uh, please include your name to the session you intend to attend. Uh, try to do it as soon as possible so that we have an idea of which sessions are going to have more attendees than, uh, than others to do some load balancing. Uh, next slide, please. All right, so uh, here are some very quick tips to make sure that this uh, workshop is going to be a very successful one. Uh, at all times, please try to keep your uh, microphones muted and uh, avoid chatting in the chat window you see on the right-hand side unless there's something very necessary. Uh, if you have any questions or any concerns, if you have any technical issues, you can join a doc or a meeting. Uh, there's an email alias. It's federatedlearning-workshop2020 at google.com. Please shoot us an email, and we'll respond right away. Um, and for people who are going to speak today, uh, the session chairs and moderators are going to give you a two minutes heads up before uh, the you know, end of your talk. Next slide. All right, so finally, the last uh, comment here is we're going to use this tool call, uh, called Dory for Q&A. Uh, this is a Google tool that's open to the public. You sure you should have access to it. Uh, there's a link on this slide. You can also find the link on our website. Please make sure you have access to Dory. If you do not have access to Dory, send us an email so that we give you access. And uh, place all your questions on Dory. So instead of chatting your questions in the chat box in this video room, please place all your questions on Dory. And one thing I would like to emphasize here is that we've structured Dory to have tabs. So as you can see on the slide, there's a tab for every session. So there's, for instance, day one Google Talks. They're going to start in a minute. You can place the questions for the Google speakers in that tab. But there are other tabs for the other sessions we're going to have today and tomorrow. So please make sure you add your questions in the right tab. And with that, I think we can get started today.